you said before you would be willing to vote for John Brennan uh, to be uh, head of right. the CIA. You wanted more information about all these emails, and right. there were hundreds of them, I guess, that went uh, back and forth between members of the administration uh, during that week after the attack on Benghazi. Right. Emails concerning what the <coughs> administration spokesman, who turned out to be Susan Rice, would say that following Sunday on the Sunday broadcast, including this one. Have you gotten any information? I understand uh, the administration has the administration, released some emails. They have released some. One, her story is completely collapsed under scrutiny. And I mentioned this to the president. Here's what I want. I want the FBI interviews of the survivors two days after the attack. They were turned over the intelligence committee and everything was blacked out. They're now taking another chance of providing the FBI interviews so you actually can read what they say. The emails around who changing the talking point, there's a big gap. Uh, I want to know who the survivors are so we can go interview them. The, the transmissions from Benghazi to Washington in real time on the night of the attack, what were people asking for, what were they saying? All of that information was given to the committee completely blacked out. And I told the president, this is to learn. I think Benghazi's Exhibit A in a failed foreign policy leading from behind is not working and we're trying to find out what happened on that night so we won't have other Benghazis and I'm not gonna vote for Brennan until the CI who said they did change the talking points lets us know who did it and why and we have a picture of what happened in real time in Benghazi. You're not gonna vote for him, but will you try to I hold will up? stop. I think John and I are hell bent on making sure the American people understand this debacle called Benghazi. The FBI and the CIA never talked for weeks. We're going back to the pre-9-11 model. We don't know what the uh, interviews uh, of the survivors tell us. There was never a video that spawned a riot. That whole story has just been debunked, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Senator? Uh, I've had questions, uh, written questions from Mr. Brennan for nearly three weeks now. We've not received a single answer. I think that we deserve at least an answer to those questions, and I have some questions about torture. So you intend to join Senator Graham and block you know, this I, from I coming to a I hate to threaten. Vote? We hate to, to say, wow, the, the story tomorrow will be McCain and Graham threatened to, well, why don't we just get the answers to these questions? They're not, they're not tough questions, and they're legitimate questions. But and, until you yeah. get the answers, you're not going, on, going along with them. Uh, well, we certainly think we deserve the answers, and I think, it, again, it's our responsibilities on advice and consent to get answers to questions about nominees to important positions. Bob, it's a time-honored tradition in the U.S. Senate that when an administration, any administration, puts somebody forward, the senator has concerns or questions or information uh, that they would like, that there's a give and take. And I'm going to insist on that time on. I'm not going to vote on a new CIA director until I'll find out what the CIA did in Benghazi. All right. Gentlemen, it's always a pleasure to have you. 60,000 dead in Syria. We still haven't acted. Thank you. Thank you very much.